In this video, I'm going to walk us through the process of swapping drawers um, from an AM bartender to a PM bar bartender um, when there are still open tickets. Um, so the way this is going to work, when an AM bartender comes in to work, they clock in uh, under their personal number uh, to record hours and payroll, and then they clock in using the AM bar number in order to use throughout the shift, ring items in and use the drawer, uh, etc. Uh, same thing with the PM bartender. When he comes in, he's going to clock in under his personal number, and then he's also going to clock in and log in under the PM bar number so that he can use that one for uh, ringing in items in, in uh, the, the shift. So first is first, um, I am logged in under my AM bartender here and I've made payments on the drawer um, and I also have a ticket still open but um, I need to get rid of this so that I can transfer uh, the drawers um, from the AM to the PM bartender. So the first thing that the AM bartender is going to do is they're going to transfer all their open tickets um, to the employee's clock-in number, um, their personal clock-in number, just so we can get all these tickets off of the bar drawer. So I'm going to transfer it. That's my clock in number there that I used earlier for this bartender. So we're transferring that ticket to their personal number and now we're going to log in with our personal number um, to accept the transfer request. Um, so I'm going to accept this ticket. Now I have the ticket on this user and the AM bartender doesn't have a ticket um, on here anymore so we can do the swap um, but right before we do the swap I'm going to have the PM bartender log in uh, or clock in with his number and then also clock in with the PM bar number that he's going to be using throughout the evening and now I'm going to go back to the AM bar log in and I'm going to go to employee and I have to run a shift report so that I know how much to take out of the current drawer uh, for my tips. So I'll run a shift report for my first bartender. And on this report, it'll say whether uh, I owe the restaurant or the restaurant owes me. And if the restaurant owes me, I'll go ahead and pull that cash out of the drawer that I have open. And once that's done, I'm going to close this cash drawer and I'm going to swap it. So I'm going to count the drawer down with what's currently in the drawer. I believe there's $50 in this drawer. And we're going to confirm it. And once again, and then it's going to give us a detailed summary after it asks why we were uh, short in this case. I'm just testing. So here's my detailed report. It gives me cash drop, uh, everything I need to know. So as soon as I close the, that drawer, or this one right here, I'm going to take this drawer out of the bar and I'm going to go rebalance it in the office. And when I hit confirm here, it's going to bring up a new count. Um, what this is asking for is to open the, the drawer once again. So this is where the PM bartender puts his till physically into the bar drawer um, to use for the rest of the night. And he counts that. He knows perfectly what it is. It's $300 and he's going to hit confirm to open the drawer. Uh, problem is we're still on the AM bartender so what we're going to do is we're going to log out. We're going to log in with the PM bartender and we're going to go to employee and we're going to join the drawer that's open. Okay, So that's the brand new drawer we just put in. He's joined to that. Now we're going to back track to our AM bar who we need to leave the drawer now because we've taken our drawer out, balanced it in the office, put a brand new drawer in for the PM bartender, um, and he's joined to the drawer, so now we can leave the drawer. And then the AM bartender can clock out. Okay, but we still have an open ticket that we transferred to our personal clock-in number. So we're going to log in there, and we're just going to pay this one out as uh, kind of a, a server would. So we're going to pay this ticket uh, when the guests are ready, of course. And we're going to pay it out however they like. 
Once all these tickets are taken care of, we can run a shift report just like a server would have to so that we can get our money um, for the tickets that we transferred over. And once this shift report is printed off, then we take this shift report to the PM bartender um, who just opened a brand new drawer so that we can get tipped out of the brand new drawer so that we don't interfere with the previous drawer that we had open. Um, next we can go ahead and clock out on our first AM bartender and now I'm gonna go to my PM bartender the AM bartender brought me his shift report so I'm gonna go to employee I'm gonna tip him out here uh, server test has report um, the employee is gonna owe the restaurant 651 found employee this amount is correct so this 651 just came into the brand new drawer for the PM bartender um, he just did the the tip out for the AM bartender um, on the tickets that were transferred over so they can close the drawer I'm gonna hit done now the PM bartender is logged in he has a drawer open it's a brand new drawer it has nothing to do with the drawer before that the AM bartender has um, and the AM bartender can continue on with balancing that previous drawer and now the AM bartender is clocked out uh, the AM bartender number which he was using all shift is clocked out and the PM bartender is free to continue on the evening with a brand new drawer and the drawers have been properly swapped and that's how you're gonna do it and you're gonna transfer the tickets off the drawer so that you can close it for the AM bartender and then you're gonna open it for the PM bartender the AM bartender is going to cash the rest of their tickets out and then bring that shift report to the PM bartender in order to be tipped out from the brand new drawer um, and that's how that process is going to go to keep all the drawers separated and keep a closer eye on your money.